Hey guys, happy Friday, man. We are, we are just thrilled uh, to bring this information to you. We're talking about next steps. Of course, welcome to day six uh, of 21 Days of Prayer. Pray that you're getting in. Like I talked about yesterday, hope you can download the church app, help you stay connected with us. Help you, you can listen to messages. It'll, it'll help you in your spiritual growth and development. All of our notes from our, our messages, our sermons are on there as well. So please download the church app, Impact Norfolk is the code. And so happy Friday again. Next steps. Psalm 90 has been our text scripture. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom, that we'll know how to, how to respond, that we'll know how to keep our heart, we'll know how to guard our heart in various things. Ephesians 5 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. The NIV says, making the most of every kairos moment because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. We said earlier in this week, we said three things matter, should matter to us. God should matter. People should matter. And eternity should matter. And and we talked about yesterday about leaving a legacy. And so we talked about knowing your purpose. And then the next one I want to talk about today is growing to your potential. We want you to help you grow to your potential. Psalm, I mean, Proverbs 27 says, iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. And it's so important that we have the right people, you know, in our circle. And that's why we really encourage you when small groups opens up in just a few weeks that you get into a small group, that you have a circle of people who will help you grow and develop, to help you reach your potential because change happens in circles. So you know then you know, I like this, you know then you grow. Understanding this information does not change a person's life. All change happens in the context of relationships. You may not remember the last sermon someone preached, but you can remember someone who's impacted your life in a meaningful way. A parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle, a teacher, a coach. We we know those people. We can list those people. We can list 10 people easily. Uh, Eat at the drop of a hat. Number two, God's system of growth is other people. That's why it's hard to get. That's why sometimes it's hard to get close to people because God wants you to be around people to help you grow. Most people are afraid to get close to people, and most people, unfortunately, bail on relationships. I really want you to hang in there. If you had a bad experience at a church, had a bad experience with a small group, give it another, another try. Try again. And number three, God is more interested in your character then your comfort. And it's so important that we're, we're living a life. I know we had this season of COVID a few years back where we had to, we're supposed to wear masks, but we got to make sure we're not wearing masks even now. We're, we're not hiding behind uh, some kind of uh, shell of ourselves. We're, we're, we're smiling, you know, when we're hurting, you know, we're hurting and we're not telling anybody. It's so important that we come from behind the mask and, and, and really can, who can, who can help us find those blind, because we all have blind spots. And so we all have issues. We all got stuff we're trying to work out, work through. You have to learn to work out your issues with people. And I believe it's so important as well to sow the seeds that benefit other people. And I believe that's the last step in living a life that's all about. We have to make sure we're giving. We're not hoarding ourselves. We're giving the best we have to people in our homes, in our family, at our church, on the job, in our community. You know You grow, you sow. Opportunity to make a difference for eternity. Why? Because eternity matters. Sow love wherever you go and whatever you do, make sure you're giving of yourself that you're sowing love. Now, a lot of times we'll reference this as an offering scripture, but think of this in the context of sowing love back to other people. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided uh, in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves, what kind of giver? A cheerful giver. Verse 11 says, you will be made rich in every way so you can be generous on every occasion. And through, through us, your generosity will report Generosity results, excuse me, in thanksgiving to God. So what are we saying as I wrap this up? Live your life to reflect, <clears throat> excuse me, that God matters. Is God at the top of your list? That's a rhetorical question. He can only take 
one slot. He has to be first. Your, your spouse can't be first. Your kids can't be first. Your serving at the church can't be first. Your job can be first. God and your relationship God with God has to be first. And then lastly, salvation means this, to reorder your list or rededicate your life to God. When you get saved, you're putting God at the top. To rededicate your life to God, which means you're putting him back at the top. So hope you, you got something from this as you take your next steps. Remember, God matters. People matter. Uh, um, eternity matters. And make sure you're leaving a legacy that matters to people and to God. We love you guys. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you soon. 